What's up, YouTube? I just um, was looking on Facebook. I seen something about the Flash TV show um, from CW on Facebook. I clicked on the link, and it was an article about a famous director. Like, this dude done Teen Titans, um, The Judas Contract. He did Daredevil, which was another awesome movie. He's done, um, da, 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 Toss, that's a pretty good movie. Um, he's done a few great movies, a lot of them I can't name off the back. He's done Superman Doomsday, another great one. But, okay. So, anyways, they were talking about how The Flash could easily be Superman and, su okay. This guy... He, he's an awesome director, don't get me wrong, but this thing I cannot handle. Because, I mean, it's common logic. It's, it's Superman is faster than a, sp a speeding bullet. Which means Superman m moves fast enough to break the sound barrier. The Flash, on the other hand, is faster than light. Now, if you learned anything from school, they, they taught you this third, fourth, fifth grade, right? So if you learned anything from school, you, you learned that obviously light is faster than sound. You'd be able to light hit before the sound ever comes. Um, so, How do you get that Superman is... Okay. Me, personally, I've really... Uh, I like Superman as a concept, but I've really never been a big fan of Superman, so I could be the wrong person to talk to about this just because of my fact, not really being a big fan of it. Um, but... Pretty much the reason being is one of those superheroes that won't do what it takes to get the job done. I pretty much like superheroes that like Batman, Green Arrow, um, Daredevil. I mean, some of them aren't willing to kill, per se, but they are willing to injure. And they get the job done very efficiently. Um, somebody who, yes, I get it because he does have extreme strength, extreme speed, laser vision, all that. He would have to hold back by a lot, so that way he wouldn't kill him. But he doesn't even at all, like, you, any of his enemies could easily bring a kryptonite bullet. Several of his enemies have. Lex Luthor... Batman himself carries kryptonite on him. Um, it seems like it's not that hard to get as it used to be. So, if he's not willing to injure somebody at least, he's very possibly going to die. He, he can't save people like that. It's, I mean, he has, but I don't know. But Superman, because of that fact, he's never been really my favorite superhero. Um, but, um, anyways, so I'm probably not the best person to be talking about this, and I do understand that, um, but, I mean, even fans, even people who are big fans of Superman say, hey, sound is nowhere near as fast as light. It's like basic science that you learn early on in school. Like, before you're even halfway through middle school type of thing. Um. But, um. And this is one subject that, I mean, yeah, this dude's done great movies in the past. Um, but if he was to ever do a Superman versus Flash movie, 
I probably won't want to see it just because of that reason. Um, but, um, But yeah, that's my opinion on it. it. It's, I mean, it just really confuses me. How somebody could think that sound beats light. It's not really the hero's, I mean... If they were go on a full on brawl fight, um, it would pretty much be like Superman. Flash has the speed advantage. Flash is also pretty strong, basically because his muscle healing regeneration is, it gives him kind of a super strength ability, but not really nowhere near Superman level. Uh, really, it's only a tiny bit past normal human level. Um, but, um, if you, if you bring them in a full-on fight, able to remove her around some of Superman's punches and stuff like that, but in the end, um, Superman's going to be able to go like okay both Superman and the Flash are very smart people Superman's very strategic per se I mean you would have to be in order to be able to hide your identity while taking pictures of yourself while going around town switching between clothes in public like all this stuff, it's really... He has to be smart to do all that stuff. He pretty much multitask. And multitask is a concept that is not real. Yes, you can do multiple things at one time. But... They actually did a study on this. If you do multiple things at one time... You're going to be a slight bit slower. You're going to be slight bit least effective, um, and it's really not multiple uh, multitasking unless you're able to do everything with the natural ability that you can by itself. So basically, saying you're not least effective whenever you do multiple things. Um, but the fact that Superman's all, um, capable of doing these things, identity sealed, just shows that he does have some strategic mindsets. So, even though the Flash beats him in speed, um, and th so they're both smart, but Superman go like, because of his strength, his speed, his mindset, he could easily, if Flash comes up and Flash goes up and dodges a punch, Superman basically see this and he could strike with another blow that, hey, Flash could possibly remove that one too, but eventually Superman's going to get a blow on him because Flash can't block every single block. I mean, any human with powers or not can't block every single block if you're just blocking. Um, so, Superman will get a blow on him eventually. Um, Flash might get a few blows too, but... So, in a fight, Superman would win. But in a race... Uh, it, it's just no chance. But, um, I'm currently watching Vampire Night. It's a pretty cool show. 
I actually thought about getting that tattoo that, of course, his ain't a tattoo. It's more like a symbol that comes whenever you've been bit by a vampire before. And haven't had pure blood vampire blood yet. But still, I thought about getting that tattooed on my neck. But, um, it's a pretty good show. Yeah. Anime. But I gotta be at work in the morning, so... Gotta at least try to get some sleep. But that's my whole view on the subject. Um, let me know what y'all think. If y'all do agree with him that Superman would win in a race that Superman's faster, let me know, and let me know your reasons why. And I'm not the type of person... I don't take that doesn't like to take opinions. My my view on it is just that I probably wouldn't watch a movie he does about Superman and Flash racing. But I am perfectly who view that as okay. Um, if I don't know if I'm saying it right because my words are kind of slurring right now because I'm tired. But um. And just let me know if y'all agree with that. Let me know why y'all agree with it. If y'all don't agree with it, also let me know and let me know why. What what are y'all's opinions on it? And I'll take each opinion into consideration. I mean, that's really what arguments are meant to be for. Arguments are meant to be constructive um, and not destructive. Basically... You, you state an opinion, another person argues with that opinion and states why they disagree with that opinion. And it allows each person to evolve their own opinions into a better opinion, which can lead to more opinions on different subjects. So, I thought that was somebody coming in my room. My doggy, you opened the door, princess. But um, I'm going to bed now.